Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm just gonna be sharing with you guys what I've been buying during this market crash and what I'm taking advantage of and what I plan to buy on next. So first of all, I'm gonna start here with the uh, REIT here, Real Estate Investment Trust. And I actually love REITs specifically because they pay out on a monthly basis. Now, not all of them pay out on a monthly basis, but at least the majority of the ones that I'm holding give me you know what's called a dividend money every month for simply holding the stock now an agnc here it has a high yield uh, it's a high yield dividend paying uh, REIT and uh, you always hear hey you know don't invest in the high yields but uh, I've been trading agnc for quite a while now the strategy that I was using before was either uh, swing trading it or capturing the dividend now I've been doing that for quite a while on it, so I kind of know how it moves and all that. And as of recently, you know, it's only paying uh, 16 cents per share. Back then it was paying 18 cents per share when I got into it. And so right now I'm actually holding, uh, I actually ended up buying this week actually, 400 shares of it. So I paid $10.49 for each, well we'll say $10.50 and I bought 400 shares so that's roughly around four thousand dollars and some change that's how much I invested and as you can see I'm actually up already five hundred and eighty one dollars and the good thing about this is that it pays every month so for 400 shares I would be getting you know sixty four dollars into my uh, brokerage account every month for simply just holding the stock and while I'm holding it, I'm also getting some capital gains on it. Now, this one does not have much capital growth. So I intend to hold this one at least until it reaches the $17, $18 average price. Until then, I will start uh, swing trading it and capturing the dividend as I was doing before. But for now, I took advantage of that big dip and bought in uh, with 400 shares. So that's what I'm going to do with uh, AGNC here. Now again, this is just my opinion. These are the things I'm doing. So don't go ahead and buy what I'm doing because I can lose money and then I'll feel bad if you guys lose money, right? I just been uh, playing that uh, REIT for quite a while so I kind of know how it moves already. Now the other one that I uh, ended up buying was uh, Wind Resorts here. Wind Resorts Casino. And I actually did a video on it, uh, I think a little over a week. So I ended up buying 100 shares of it at fifty four dollars and ninety four cents and uh, I I ended up doing a uh, covered call if you remember uh, that was a three-day expiration with a strike price of fifty six dollars now when it came to Friday uh, on the expiration date the stock was trending just below fifty six dollars so my shares never got taken away and so I ended up making five hundred dollars for simply holding the stock which is uh, not shabby, right? $500 in three days? I'll take that any day. And so I still have 100 shares, but now you can see there was a little bit of a rally. It's trending uh, right around $75 currently right now. Uh, it was uh, $79, $80, you know, just a few minutes ago right before uh, the market closed. And so there was a little sell-off right now. So at $75, it is what is trending right now. So I'm up. A little over two thousand dollars on this stock alone and um, I was trading this right back when it was at a hundred and forty five dollar average price right before the market crash it was trending at a hundred and fifty three dollars this stock was a hundred and fifty three dollars just a few weeks ago you know not even that well a few more than just a few weeks ago right before the market started crashing and you can see it went down well you can't see it here on my screen sorry I can't zoom in on here but uh it went down all the way to thirty five dollars and eighty four cents so this is what market crashes look like I mean the value of a stock just significantly drops by a lot of money and this is when you gotta take advantage of stuff like this you know so I ended up uh, buying uh, a little too late into it actually I bought in at $54.94 with 100 shares, so that's basically a 5,400, well, we'll say 5,500 uh, investment right there. So that's how much I invested right there. And then the other one, I actually bought this one today, uh, Lamar. Lamar is a REIT, it, uh, billboard advertising. 
So Lamar is another one I was trading back then. Uh, this one was trading right around the 90 something dollar average price, uh, right before the market crash. Uh, so it was at $96.82. And it went down all the way to $30.89. And right now it's trending back up again. Now, of course, anything can still happen right now with the uh, virus and everything, but uh, most of these stocks seem to be bouncing. People are taking advantage of all this. So, you know, there's a little bit of a rally going on right now. And as of currently, I bought uh, 101 shares. Now, I meant to buy 100. I don't know how the other one got in there, but I have 101 shares that I bought today. And I bought them with an average price of $43.25. So that's a 4,300 and some change investment that I did today. And just in one day, I'm already up almost $800 just in one day on that. So, you know, I'm planning to hold this for the longer term because it's paying out a dividend. And I can always sell some cover calls on it as well because it's got pretty good premium. Now, the other one that I wanna buy actually uh, is either Bank of America or uh, JP Morgan. Now, it really depends on the uh, $2 trillion stimulus plan that is uh, about to hopefully pass or we'll see what happens, right? Because everything moves on, moves on news. So, you know, I, I'm not really uh, against or with anything. I just kind of take advantage of the news on what's going on. If it, you know, and that's just what people do. I mean, if there's, if it's some bad news, the market is going to go down. You know, you take advantage by, hey, buying into the uh, dips and uh, buying into the very lows when the price of a stock is super, super cheap. And uh, that's what I'm going to be uh, doing next is either buying some Bank of America or JP Morgan. Now, Bank of America is actually way, way down. Now, I think that if the stimulus plan uh, goes through, these are going to have a pretty good rally on them. Now, Bank of America not too long ago, right before the market crash, was trending right around the uh, $35 average price. And it dropped down all the way to $17.95. Do you see how much uh, money these stocks drop by? And so you gotta take advantage of this because, you know, I believe that even in market crashes, I mean, everything tends to go back up sooner or later. Then that's how people, you know, just become rich. So, so far I've invested $15,000 and uh, I plan on buying just a few more uh, other companies and hold them for the uh, longer term uh, upside. And uh, we'll see what happens, right? But uh, I just wanted to show you guys what I've been doing, what I'm planning to buy next. So next is gonna be Bank of America or uh, JP Morgan, or the other one that I think is gonna be a good play is Wells Fargo. Uh, Wells Fargo, not too long ago, was actually at around $55 average price. And uh, right in the uh, market uh, crash right now, it's uh, the low one was $25.11. That's as low as it got. Now it's starting to kind of trend back up along with all the other banks, but like I said, it all depends on the news and what's going on, and so I like to keep up with everything. Now, I think if this $2 trillion stimulus plan goes through, then these are going to have some uh, good rally onto them.